If you want to learn how to make this YouTube intro on Canva for free in 10 minutes, then you've come to the right place for a tutorial. If you just want to easily download and customize my template, then you can get it through my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. But if you want to learn how to make it yourself on a free Canva account, then just keep on watching. Begin by logging into Canva and looking up YouTube intro. Click on the first option, which is create a blank YouTube intro to start from scratch. This template already has the dimension set up correctly, so you can just drag and drop the intro into your YouTube video once you're done without having to resize. The first thing we want to do is look for the Pinterest logo. Click on elements on the left hand side bar and search for the Pinterest logo. It might not show up right away, so go to graphics, click on see all, and then you should see the Pinterest logo there. Drag and drop the Pinterest logo and resize it to whatever size you'd like. I like having it in a medium size in the center of the page to start. The bottom bar here shows how long the video is going to stay on this one slide. So since this is just the first slide with the logo, I'm going to make it a little shorter. You can also add animations. So I'll do this now for the logo by clicking on animate at the very top. And then I'm choosing the rise animation. This makes it look like it's popping up from under the screen. The next step is to make the search bar. Go to the bottom of the page and add a page. It starts off at five seconds. I'm going back to elements and adding another Pinterest logo. I'm making it a lot smaller this time. After that, I'll go back in to elements and search for a search bar. A lot of the search bars are paid features, but I was able to find a couple that are free. Add whichever one you like and resize it. I'm making it bigger so I can add some text on top. To add text, go back to the left hand side, but click on text and add a text box. I'm adding a little plug now. It would be amazing if you could subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if it was helpful. Leave me a comment if you have any feedback and also let me know if you end up using this intro on your channel. I'd love to check your video out and support. This next part will show you how to add the typing effect. So click on your text box that you just added and then go back to animate. The animation for the typing effect is called wipe. With this effect, it looks like the letters are actually being typed out, which is pretty cool. I don't want the intro video to last too long, so I'm going to shorten the seconds of the screen by a little bit. The last part of this tutorial will show you how to make the last slide, which is the Pinterest board. Go to the bottom of your canvas screen and add another page. Go back to the previous page and copy all of the elements that we added here, like the logo, the search bar, and the text. Then go to your new page and paste it. We want to make room on the page for the photo and video tiles, so I'm going to make this a lot smaller and move it up. Go back to elements and this time look up rectangle frame. This will help us set up the template and then you can go back in and add your own images and videos later. I'm looking for a frame that's rounded in the corners to make it look more like a Pinterest tile. I want one long rectangle and then one short one. So I'm just going to make a copy of the long one and make it shorter so that I can keep the width the same. Now I'm just going to keep making copies of the same tiles and rearrange them to look like a Pinterest board. After I have the sizes laid out, I'm just moving them around to center them on the page. You can customize yours however you like, but this is the template that I set up for myself. Next, upload the photos and videos you want to use for your intro into Canva. Just drag and drop into one of the tiles and it'll automatically be resized. You can also add videos, which is really cool. Here's an example of one. And that was it. Here's an example of how your intro might look when you play it all the way through. To save this as a video so you can add it to your YouTube video, just click on share, click download, make sure it's selected as an MP4 video, 
and then click download.